Create a Machine Configuration. In this video, we'll modify a machine configuration. In Fusion 360, we're going to carry on with our CAM milling data set, but we also want to make sure that we have access to our Haas VM3 specification spreadsheet. Inside this spreadsheet, there is a link to the Haas website for their VM3 specs, and most of these specs have been included in this spreadsheet. The reason that we're talking about the spreadsheet as well as machine configurations is because the functionality in Fusion 360 helps put a couple extra steps in place to validate whether or not you're violating any parameters of your machine. So let's take a quick look at some of the specs for the Haas VM3, and then we'll dive into machine configurations. For the Haas VM3, you can see that we have a travel range of 40 inches in the X, 26 in the Y, and 25 in the Z. We also have a max spindle speed of 12,000 RPM, and the taper for the inserts on the spindle can be a CT or a BT40. As we go down, you can see that we have values for the table length and the maximum weight. We also have information about the max cutting and rapid values. We can go through and take a look at some of the other values, such as the tool changer has a 30 plus one capacity, which means it supports a preloaded tool. Maximum tool diameter, the maximum tool diameter if the empty position is adjacent, and the maximum length. So all of these values are going to be important and specifications that we can define in a machine configuration. In Fusion 360, when we created our setup in our CAM milling setup design, there was an option to select a machine. The machines can be defined at that time, but we also can go into Manage and go into our machine library. In the machine library, there's a recent section, there's an in this document section, similar to our tool library, and then we have a my machines, cloud, local, and linked machines. And then we also have a Fusion 360 library. The Fusion 360 library contains loads of different machines from additive machines to water jet and laser cutters to milling and turning machines. We can select a specific vendor or we can use the filtering capabilities to filter out machines by specific capabilities such as milling. As we look through this list, you can see there are some generic machine definitions, such as a Haas machine with an A and B axis, one with just an A axis for fourth axis turning. And then you can see as we go down, there's a mini mill and we can keep scrolling a UMC 750 and we're gonna go all the way down till we find a VF3. Notice that there's a VF3S, there's a VF3S with a TR160, there is a VF3S with a TR200, and then as we keep going through, you'll notice that there are different machines with different capabilities. You can see here that the axis information has Y, X, A, and C, and as we select the TR200Y, you can see that it has Y, X, B, and C. We have a VF3U that just has Y and X with the Z axis for the head. So when we select these different machines, there are different functionalities and capabilities that we should be aware of. We can create them from scratch, but obviously if there is a machine that's already available, we want to copy it and we want to configure it to make sure that it matches anything we have on our shop floor. Some of these will also contain a physical model of the machine. This can help when we're dealing with fixturing and also can be used for future functionality such as machine simulation. Right now, we're gonna take the Haas VM3 that only has the Y, X, and Z, the one that has the 3D model of our machine. We're gonna right click and we're gonna copy it. Then we're gonna go into My Machines and into our cloud library. We're gonna right click and we're gonna paste it. Now that we have a Haas VM3 machine, let's right click and let's edit the definition. Inside of here, the description is Haas VM3, and I'm gonna simply put video edit after it, so I know that we've adjusted this based on this video. As we go through, you'll notice that some of the values and parameters are not filled out. So the dimensions of the machine, the capabilities, the number of tools, some of these things don't match the machine definition. For example, we know that this has a 30 plus one for the number of tools that it can support. This is based on the specs that are listed on the Haas website. Obviously, there are options. So if your machine has more or less capability, you want to make sure that you replicate that. There are no values that are in here for the minimum and maximum workpiece, 
Let's go ahead and change the units to inch as we were looking at those values inside of a document at inches. When we go into the kinematics, again, you can see here that there are no values that are entered. And this is where we really want to begin to focus our attention. So make sure that you do have access to that spreadsheet or that you're on the Haas website for the VM3 specs as we begin to enter these. For our maximum rapid feed rate, this value is going to be 710 inches per minute. The maximum feed rate value that Haas lists is 500. So we want to make sure that we do use those values. Next is the spindle, and the maximum spindle speed in here is obviously well above what the machine can handle, so we're going to set that at 12,000. Note that the orientation is 0, 0, 1, meaning that the spindle is in the Z axis. Next, we'll move on to X and Y. Again, for Y, the rapid feed rate is going to be 710, and then the maximum cutting feed rate is 500. For the X, it'll be the same at 710 for our maximum rapid and 500 listed for our maximum cutting feed rate. We can continue to enter additional parameters as they're listed in the specifications, but I think really the important thing here is understanding that we can control some of these values. Under coolant, we can dictate what type of coolant we have access to on our machine. And then in the post-processing section, this is where we want to make sure that we understand that we can predefine a post-processor that we want to use for our machine. If you have a custom post-processor that you use, you might want to pre-select it to make sure that it goes with your machine configuration. For now, I'm going to leave the post-location and post-processor set to these defaults using machine simulation.cps. Under multi-axis, right now we don't have any multi-axis functionality on this machine, so these values are not going to be valid. If we needed to add more kinematics, we could go to the coordinate systems and we could add additional functionality. But for our purposes, really we wanna make sure that our max spindle speed and feed rates are maintained. Anytime we use the Haas VM3 inside of our setup, if we try to go faster than that maximum feed rate or that maximum spindle speed, Fusion 360 will throw a warning telling us that we're exceeding the capabilities. So from here, let's close this. Let's go back into setup one and edit and go to machine and select a machine configuration. I'm gonna select the Haas VM3 video edit using select. And now we have that machine created. I'm gonna say okay. And now because we did make a change to the setup, let's make sure that we do save the design before moving on.